And so your total out of pocket with the progesterone and the endometrin is going to be. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica for those that are new here. Right now I am sitting um, at Walmart because I have a grocery pickup. Um, we have been really busy um, this entire weekend just trying to get a lot of things done before our transfer. And then also Eric's nieces are going to be staying with us for a week. So it's kind of an extra motivation to make sure everything gets done. Um, but yeah, we've been working on our shed. Um, we've also um, want to clear out the garage once the shed is complete. So hopefully Eric finishes that today and we can start working on the garage. And then after that, um, there's just things that I needed to get done like um, organizing my pantry um, and then cleaning out my fridge. And then I also just wanna uh, deep clean my restrooms and wash all my bedding and things like that just things that I don't want to be doing after the transfer just because I want to relax and take it easy and you know just not be you know dealing with that stuff so it's a lot to get done um I'm after this gonna go wash my car and then I will probably vacuum it at home just because um of you know like COVID and stuff I think they are allowing um vacuuming now I know it was um closed before um but um I have a Dyson at home so I'm just gonna use that but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel since the girls are going to be here we got a little more than we normally do so um got spaghetti sauce noodles I like to get wheat so these are whole wheat, um, some Texas toast, um, masa to make tortillas. I really want to clean out my oven, so I got some easy off. And then like I had mentioned, I want to clean out my bathroom, so I needed a bathroom cleaner. Um, it's been really hot here. Yesterday was like 100 degrees. And since the girls will be here, I'm sure we're gonna go through Otter and Pops like crazy. So I got three boxes um, and then, and for a quick breakfast, I also got some waffles, so some Eggos. Um, I got bacon. I also read that lentils are really good to thicken uterine lining. So I'm gonna make a lentil soup. I got almond milk. I'm also probably gonna make enchiladas, so this is my favorite enchilada sauce that's store-bought. I also um, got some hot dog buns. I like wheat bread, and then we just got some wheat for the girls because they don't really <laughs> like wheat. Um, got some popsicles. I actually got two bags, so got some lime ones, and then these are cherry mango. Um, underneath here, there's just bananas. Um, I got some bone broth for my uterine lining. Um, I got some hash browns. Eric loves hot Cheetos, so two bags of hot Cheetos. And more popsicles. Um, some mandarin oranges, tomatoes, some iced coffee, even though I can't drink it, so this is for Eric. Uh, tomatillos, so I can make some carne during the week. Um, I have some cilantro, what's under here? Jalapenos, chorizo, some cheese um, for the enchiladas, spinach to add to my eggs for breakfast, and then just lime away styrofoam plates just because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of dishes with the girls, so on days that I really don't want to wash dishes, we can use those. So we came to Costco to get a few things that we needed still, and um, sp specifically um, some totes. They have them on sale right now, and we're trying to clear out our garage, and so we're just gonna organize everything, move things into the shed. And when we were walking out, um, like the doorman noticed that 
Um, the lady that checked us out had actually charged us for 75 of those bins. So Eric's in there taking care of that. But I don't even know how we didn't notice. I think we just weren't paying attention to like what she was scanning. But I am, um, yeah, I had to grab a hot dog because I needed something to drink because I had to take my s -race pill. So I'm just in here and it's so hot outside. <laughs> Summer has definitely arrived. But what are your guys' plans? What have you guys been up to? Are there any projects that you guys have been working on during this quarantine? I mean, kind of. I feel like a lot of states are actually already reopening. Ours is and is not. Um, they're taking it by county and our county is still in phase one. They actually just, um, the governor, just announced a few days ago that um, masks are going to be mandatory statewide so it just seems like we're stuck and everybody's just so far ahead of us um, but yeah we have a lot of cases here still so it's better to be safe than sorry so in the meantime we're just trying to stay busy and hopefully can tackle these few projects that we have been postponing for a while all right and now for the Costco haul so let's just start here we got some new glassware um, just to pack like our lunches and stuff. Um, I needed more of these and they were on sale. I just really, really need to work on organizing my pantry. And so there's that. Um, we got two different flavors of like snack bags or snack chips. Um, so we have those up here. And then of course we had to get the flaming Hot. So there's that. Um, and then I got some more palm juice. Um, we got more bananas because we go through bananas like crazy here. We add them to our smoothies or oatmeal cereal. So they go by pretty quick. And then with the girls here, I'm sure it doesn't hurt to have extras. Um, we also got some milk. They like the 2%. Um, Eric and I drink almond milk, but the girls prefer just regular milk. Um, I got some dentist sticks for the dogs. Um, I already opened them and gave them one. They love these. Um, got some more like shampoo and conditioner. Um, the body wash was on sale, so I stocked up on that. Um, got some more of these. They're power up. They're like um, trail mix, just already packed or prepackaged. Um, and they're really good. Um, it's also helpful for like portion control, so I like that. Got some pizza for the girls or for us too, but I mean, um, we just want to get things that we know they're going to like. And um, it's not super healthy stuff, I know, but they're only with us for a week, so we kind of want to spoil them. Um, got some Capri Suns. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so... <laughs> We got white bread for the girls because they don't like wheat. I've mentioned that before. Um, and we had like those, um, like those carts, um, not like a shopping cart, but the other ones. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and it was like fully stacked. So the bread was up top, obviously, because we didn't want it to get smashed or anything. But it fell and Eric didn't see that it had fallen and he ran it over with the cart. So, I mean, it's still good, but I mean, there's a part right here that's like pretty smushed. <laughs> um, we got toilet paper, they had toilet paper. So we got one, the limit was one, but we don't need more than that. Some more mandarin oranges. Eric really wanted to try these. They're um, fried pork rinds. So um, those are his chips and oh and we also and we also got this for my dad because he saw ours when he was over on father's day and um really liked it so we just got it for him um we love ours but this is like a newer version i think we have the pathfinder too but it works really well and i'm sure he's going to be so happy and lastly, the main thing we went for was to get some of these storage bins. Um, we already have a few, but we really, really want to organize our garage. So we got 15 of these. Um, and hopefully we don't need any more than that. Um, if we do, then we have a big problem. Okay, so I'm going to call my pharmacy and order my medication before I forget. 
um, because I'm going to need that real soon. My transfer is quickly approaching, so. Thank you for calling Freedom Fertility Pharmacy. If Thank you for calling Freedom Pharmacy. This is how may assist you. Hi, my name is Jessica Casada. I need to fill a prescription, please. Sure, can I have you verify your date of birth as well? Uh, yes. May also have you verify your last name. Can you spell that? Quesada, it's spelled Q-U-E-S-A-D-A. -A. All right, and your home address on file, can you verify that for me? Thank you so much. All right, and then so you said this will be a medication you're going to fill? Yes, Is please. that the endometrin progesterone oil and the Sonera patches? Um, I'm going to waive the Sonera patches. Okay, so you don't want those? No. Okay, so you were getting the endometrin and the progesterone? Correct. Okay, and the needle, syringes, sharps, container, and alcohol, and gauze. All right. Will this be going through insurance or out of pocket? Um, I think um, they bill insurance. I don't think they pick up, though, and then they just end up charging me. Okay, so you still want us to run it through the insurance just to try? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, and I'll quote you at the out of pocket. Bear with me one moment. Okay. Okay, and so your total out of pocket with the progesterone and the endometrin is going to be $485.75, uh, and we can also include an endometrin coupon that takes up at least $30 for you as well. Yes, please, if you can. Um, I should have asked this before, but what's the quantity on that, on the medication? The endometrin? On both. Okay, so the endometrin's a quantity of 42, there, and then for the progesterone, it's two vials of the oil. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, and then you would like to go ahead and schedule this for you to receive on what day? Um, can I do um, Wednesday of receive next? It? Yeah, Wednesday if possible, if not Thursday. Sure, perfect. I can definitely set up Wednesday for you. Okay, thank you. No problem. One moment. And um, this will be for a new cycle that you'll be completing. Yes. Okay, and is that FET, IVF, IUI, or timed intercourse? It's for an FVT. All right. And since your last order with us, has there been any changes for allergies, medical conditions, or medications on file? None. Perfect. Just going to recap and go over shipping policies with you. Once medication has been dispensed, cannot be returned or canceled for any reason, so please just do check your package upon receipt. Should there be any discrepancies, please let us know within 24 hours so we can resolve that for you. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. And after no problem. And at this time, did you need to sign for the package once we ship this out? No, that's fine. Okay. Perfect. Once the carrier releases the package, you become responsible for that. No problem. And anything else that I could further assist you with today? That's everything. All right. Thank you so much for your time today. Have a good rest of your weekend. You too. Bye. So almost $500 on medication and since I'm doing endometrin twice a day um, that's about 20 days and progesterone oil is two vials and each vial is 10 days so it's about 20 days worth of medication I mean I am praying that we have a successful transfer and I don't even care how much I have to pay for medication but yeah I'm gonna have to constantly be reordering this because I will uh, hopefully get pregnant and have to be on this for I believe it's the 12th week of pregnancy so I'll be taking that medication until then and it's just one of the sucky things about infertility and having to do IVF but there's no other way around it